Hey guys, gonna have a bit of fun with uh, Lullaby by The Cure uh, for today. Um, so I'm gonna do all the parts that um, I can do, do a bass line and uh, a few other bits that, that, that maybe the keyboard would normally do. Um, and then we'll stick it all in the looper afterwards and have a bit of fun with it. So um, I'll put this down the string so you can see what I'm doing. So, um, right, so you've got this, you've got a C sharp minor seven, which is a bit of a mouthful. Um, but I looked it up, I had to look it up because it's an odd chord. So if you've got your B7, if you remember what a B7 is, if you've ever used it, uh, which is this, so it's like 0, 2, 1, 2, 0, 2. So you've got an open B string and um, an open low E string. But then you've got to move that up to the fourth fret and then drop the index finger down one. So it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a difficult um, claw, uh, spidery type um, grip. But that's the chord we need, C sharp minor 7. Then we're going to let go of all those except the index finger and the, and the ring finger to leave an A sus 2. You see that? So that's the two chords that run right the way through. So what I'm going to do later is put those in the looper and, um, and we just play along to it. So it's quite a, a difficult one to sort of get your hand used to playing. It's not a standard sort of chord. So it will take a little bit of time to get those all to ring out. Now in the meantime, you've also got this, this little flick. a lot of flick up and down on the D string and the G string. Okay, so we've got that running all the way through. It'll take a little bit while to get your hand used to that. Uh, but if not, don't worry about that. You can, you can play the lead part over my bit once I've, um, once I've done the loop, set the loop up. Um, so, I'm going to do a bass line. And the bass line is... So we're up on the ninth fret, seventh. We'll come down to the D string on the 6th fret, then 5-4. Okay, now there is another bit to that uh, bass line, but we won't necessarily worry about it, but it, it sort of goes like a pre-chorus. started. Okay, so that's the bass line. Now, there's this little flick chord. Now, I don't actually know what the chord's called, but it's on the ninth fret, bar on the ninth, so it's 999 nine, nine, 11 9 11. You've got this sharp flick, and then it goes, you take the little finger off and put the ring finger onto the 11th fret of the D string. Two bars of this. You see that all right? Okay. Now the mate now also you got this this is not this is played by uh, obviously the keyboard but you've got this um, it's probably a B I should think. A flat, 
to a an E. And if you're a bit more of a wizard with your pedal, you might be able to make that sound a bit more like a violin string rather than a guitar string. Uh, right, main riff. Ninth fret to the eleventh on the D string, G string, ninth, eleventh, B string, B string, oh damn. Do it slowly is impossible. Okay, so it's all up on that ninth fret, the same as you had that little flick chord, but they're all the same sort of uh, notes. Uh, now also, there's a couple of other little bits, but they're in they're more keyboard than anything else. But you've got this. which is a, like a hammer on the B string. It's that one and this one. Which is B string, 14th to 16th to the 17th. But obviously they would be better than keyboard, but you can get away with it on the on the uh, on the looper. Okay, so let's uh, use all those bits that um, I've just explained and put them in a looper and uh, see what rubbish we can come out with. So I've set my loop. Um, so I need to st I need to start the drum loop first for me. On this one, I mean, it might be different for you, but I'm going to start the drum loop. So, just got to play the chords, but just, just get reasonable timing. Baseline, just so as I know where I am when I set up the actual loop. Um, I'll get rid of that in a minute. So now the actual loop I'm going to put in. Pin. Get rid of that rotten bass one. We're going to add our own. You 
got a violin. have that roll around and do some bits over the top of it. Um, but I'm gonna add that awkward one. depends on um, on your looper and how you set it up so um hopefully that'll be a bit fun for you um i'll catch you soon <laughs> 